uh, how do we know whatever we are doing, whether Guru Maharaj and Krishna is pleasing with the things what we are doing probably, how we come to know because we were directly we don't get the instruction, maybe through devotees we get, but how could we uh, determine whether Krishna is pleasing with my service or something? Well, the same question was asked to uh, Jananivas Prabhu one time, and uh, he said that when you when you eat prasadam, you know when you are satisfied completely. No one has to come and tell you, "Hey, uh, you are satisfied now." No, you know. You tell others, "Oh, I'm, I'm. It's enough now. I don't want to eat. I cannot eat more." Similarly, uh, when we are actually able to please Krishna, because we are His part and parcels, we will feel that transcendental pleasure within ourselves. We will experience that pleasure in such a way that we will be easily able to give up the pleasures of this material world. That's when we know that we are pleasing Krishna uh, and we are advancing in devotional service. Uh, that's, that's one way, but uh, ultimately it is, it is also uh, in pleasing uh, the devotees, being in this mood of servant of the servant of the servant. You said that you, you are not able to meet Guru Maharaj or Krishna, but uh, you only come to know through devotees. So if you please those devotees, your senior devotees, uh, senior God brothers, um, then you will be able to actually please uh, Guru and Krishna. So if you please Guru's representative, Guru is pleased. If you to please Guru's representative, you have to please the Guru's representative's representative. And then you know that in this way, everyone is pleased. We feel that only if we, uh, like when Guru visits our temple or our community, then then the many times it's seen that the relationship between the God family uh, becomes sour. Because everyone is thinking, I want to serve Guru. I have not served Guru for so long. I want to serve. I want to serve. I want, and everyone is fighting that I want to serve. I want to serve. And in this whole thing, if if one disciple gets the opportunity to serve, other disciples, uh, you know, feel bad about that disciple. Oh, why he got a he or she got opportunity? Why I didn't get opportunity? But that's not the spiritual mood. That's opposite of the spiritual mood. That is, we are taking material mentality into the spiritual world. It's not helping, it's not pleasing the Guru. It's not pleasing Krishna when he sees within our heart that we are having that mentality. We should be of the mentality, uh, if I get an opportunity, I will serve the Guru directly. But by serving, by assisting in serving others, Guru will be pleased with me anyways. The spiritual mentality is, I want to be the servant of the servant of the servant of Guru. And then Guru will actually be pleased. But if we say, no, 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 I want to be servant of the Guru, direct servant of the Guru, and that's when I will, then, yeah, we may fight our way and, and be near Guru, but consciousness-wise, we are very, very far away from Guru. Physically, we may be separate, you know, closer to Guru, but consciousness-wise, we are not. Srila Prabhupada, once uh, a devotee asked Srila Prabhupada, uh, that uh, Prabhupada, how can we, you know, we, we don't get your association so much because Prabhupada would travel, had started traveling all over the world and he would visit uh, temples in New York and London only very uh, few times. And so devotees started asking, you know, we, how can we be close to you? So Srila Prabhupada said there was a mosquito who was sitting on Srila Prabhupada's hand while he was while Srila Prabhupada was sitting in the on the Vyasasan. Srila Prabhupada said, This mosquito is closest to me. But what is this mosquito doing? It's only sucking my blood. 
So do you want to be close to me like this? Rather, if you serve me, if you serve me in the mood of servant of the servant of the servant, then you will feel uh, me to be close to you. And then he gave his own example that I met my guru only four times. But today I can, but I never felt that he was, I was ever away from my guru. So if we are constantly meditating on the guru's instructions uh, and every service that we are doing, we are conscious that we, we have a, a talk with Guru Maharaj. Guru Maharaj, this is for you. Prabhupada, I'm doing this for you. And we consciously do it for him rather than getting, uh, getting enamored by the uh, intricacies of the service, which we have to. But before we start our service, if we start, Guru Maharaj, this I'm doing for you, for your pleasure. Please help me that I can do it, do my best so that I can give you the best result. Then uh, and whether Guru is, then it does not matter whether Guru is near or Guru is far. It is the heart to heart connection which is more important. Otherwise, if we, if we are near to, if we are, if we are not following the instruction of the Guru, then, then the uh, physical association of Guru is nothing but sense gratification. Just like we want to be with a celebrity and get a photograph with a celebrity, it just boils down to that standard. So your your question, as I understand, your your question was um, about how we should uh, be close to the guru, how we can serve the guru, how we can identify. Is that what your question was? Uh, no problem. Just my thing is how we, how do we know how we are pleased? Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. So so if we are pleasing the representative, the point I was trying to say is uh, directly pleasing Guru and Krishna does not necessarily mean that we are pleasing them, but pleasing the representatives and being in the mood of actually pleasing uh, other devotees is also uh, a way of pleasing Krishna. If they are happy, we know Krishna is happy. Does that answer your question? Yes, Prabhupada. Thank you so much, Prabhupada. Thank you. Yeah.